Ladies and gentlemen, your next bachelorette is Jen. Wow. <laughs> Congratulations, you're in the driver's seat. You're our next bachelorette. How does it feel? That's gonna take some getting used to for sure. Um, I don't know, I'm overwhelmed, it's, it's crazy. It feels so surreal to be sitting here and honestly, I feel like just yesterday I was literally in the emergency room and my scrubs are working and here I am in stilettos in this little gown or whatever. Um, <laughs> and honestly, it's so surreal to be like, passed on the baton from Charity, who's sitting here today with, you know, her person that she found in all of this. And it's honestly just so inspiring. And I watched your season, and I know I have some really big shoes. No, oh, so. <laughs> And you're not wasting any time, because your journey to find love is starting very soon, right here in Los Angeles. So that on that very first night, when you're meeting all those men, what is it you think you're going to be looking for? Well, Jesse, I'm, I'm really glad that you asked because I, I feel like I'm looking for like a, like I'm looking for someone who has like a really big, like really, really big, like personality, you know, like a, a really big personality. And no, like I'm serious. I want someone who like has that kind of banter, you know, I'm all about having fun. I'm all about having that cheeky banter. And I want someone who's going to be able to take it as much as they can dish it. And if we just spend the whole night, like literally making fun of each other, that will be the most ideal night ever. I love that. And then listen, before you know it, you and I, we're going to be back here on the sofa. We're going to be recapping everything that happened. If you could look into your crystal ball and you look forward to that moment, what do you hope happens? Well, obviously, I hope I have a ring on this figure. <laughs> I feel like that's definitely the end goal here. But I know, I mean, like, I, not only the ring on the finger, but I hope that I find my person, someone that I truly feel like is 100% my perfect match and someone who I'm compatible with, someone who he and I can have fun and also just, like, feel like we're each other's person, you know? And um, to what that really means right now, I don't know, but I think I'll know when I find him. Yeah, at Women Tell All, I remember you said you were looking for a ferocious love, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. that's what you're looking for. I There's a lot. I don't know what that even means. <laughs> I don't either. I was like, wow, like... <laughs> it's going to be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of very lucky men out there right now that you are going to be meeting very, very soon, yeah. and they're watching this. What would you like to say to them? Oh, gosh, I don't even know. Um... I'd like to say that, you know, this experience is absolutely crazy. And all I can hope is for them to really open up their heart to this because that's what I did. And I got so much out of it. You know, it didn't end the way that I wanted to, but I grew and I learned so much from it. And that all I can hope is that they really open up their hearts to this. And I really hope that they are ready to have some freaking fun. Yeah. Okay? Give so, themselves the process. Yes. Absolutely. And by the way, you're also the first Asian American bachelorette <laughs> in franchise history. How does that feel? Um, that is an absolute insane thing to come out of your mouth. <laughs> um, no, it's, it's honestly incredible, and I feel so, so grateful and so honored to be the first Asian bachelorette in this franchise. Um, growing up, I've always wanted to see Asian representation on TV, you know? And I feel like it was really, it was really sparse. Any time Asians were in the media, it was to fill a supporting character role, to fulfill some sort of stereotype. And I always felt boxed in by that because I was like, I don't see myself on screen. I don't see myself as a main character. And now to be here today, sitting in this position, being like, I am going to lead my own love story. I am going to be the main character of my story. Like, I just can't help but think of how many people I'm inspiring and how many lives I am changing. I agree. So 